Hi Taurus, welcome to your October 2019 reading. I am Lorian, your psychic, medium, intuitive guidance counselor, here to give you all the messages that I receive for the month of October. We're looking at the sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the love portion only of Taurus. And we're looking at love, career, family, finance, friends, health, whatever information I get, I will relate to you. This month, I am not pull, doing an extended reading. I just don't have time to do that. I've been having some, a lot of technical difficulties. And I will resume that in November. So I'll pull some extra advice cards and oracle cards and romance at the end of the reading. Okay, so let me pull one more card and see what's going on with you guys for the month. Because I really feel, you know, the month of October, there's a lot of um, coming back around. So a lot of us have done a lot of uh, reflection in our lives on any level in our life. It can be in career, family, it doesn't matter. But I feel that anybody we needed to resolve things, you're going to have some people come back from your past, most definitely for a lot of us. Overall, it doesn't matter what zodiac sign we are kind of to complete that cycle because we're getting ready to complete cycles here, start new cycles. So when it comes to you, you're actually doing really great. You're standing up very tall and proud in your own reading. The King of Pentacles, some of you could be very, very work driven right now, very career oriented, really working on trying to feel, um, let me rephrase that. They're saying really working to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's what I'm hearing for some of you. Now, next to the King of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. So some of you might be uh, being a little bit stingy, holding back a little bit. And right next to it, we do have the Queen of Wands. So some of you might right now not be investing in what you're truly passionate about. This is something that you know is gonna bring you a lot of excitement, adventure. It could be spontaneity, right? Now, for some of you, it has a lot to do with travel. The chariot is about successfully moving forward in our life. It's equally about travel. Some of you, this has everything to do with a partner where it looks like the two of you, they're showing me the two of you, are uh, apart. It doesn't mean that you are necessarily separated or divorced. It means that you are at a distance and travel needs to come into play. And they're saying it has everything to do with money. You guys want to see each other. You want to see your partner. You, you, you think your partner is absolutely sexy and alluring and you want to spend time with your partner but i see you're being a little bit standoffish when it comes to the expense of the trip and let go like god you know go for it be with the person you love because it is more important than your career and since we have you right here you're a work driven individual you are a career oriented person a workaholic for many of you now, for another group of you, this looks like um, a situation where you own your own company. You may co-own it with a partner, with another person, but you definitely own your own business. You own, If you don't own the business, you are really high up in a corporation. And what they're showing me, I got to get the right cards. What they're showing me is you're being kind of tight right now when it comes to payouts, pay raises, bonuses, things like that. It feels like you're waiting for a job, a pay, uh, completion of, you're waiting for something to complete to bring in a chunk of money. So I see you being a little bit stingy and giving people things right now that could be, like I said, their bonuses, payouts, um, pay increase. The good thing is, I see this actually turning around for you where you're going to be able to give them what they need in the month of October. For some of you in this group, whether you are a business leader or owner, it could move into the second week of November. So it's not that much. 
you're definitely a workaholic. You've been putting a lot of energy and effort into what you do for a living. And I do feel that you're finally going to get back whatever you invested in. If this was your own business, for a lot of you, it actually is. And it feels like a family type business where you may have invested money into it and you haven't seen it come back in quite some time. They're saying that it is, you have the 10 of pentacles, I mean, 10 of cups. So yeah, it's going to come through. It's going to help you feel very happy in your own home life. Whatever has been burdening you in your career sector, in your family sector is coming to an end. Now, for some of you, this has to do with a person that you know from the past. They're saying this is... I feel this is the energetically, this feels like a family member. It feels like an adult sibling, like maybe you're my age, you know, and it's you and a sibling in your family where you've been apart, you've been stingy. Okay. There was an investment deal gone bad is what I'm hearing, an investment deal gone bad. And this is a sibling, this is a family member where it was just a lot of burden on you. I feel you don't want to invest with this person anymore. And it's okay if you don't, because the three of pentacles is here, meaning that you do have an opportunity to still work with this person. You guys can work together and <clears throat> you will be successful. I'm hearing you will be successful, okay? And the return will come back. Now, for this group of you, we are definitely lit. There you go, the magician that fell out with it. So this is creating exactly what you want. And moving forward successfully to really feel mm, happy in your own life overall in general. Yeah, happiness, there you go. Happiness, right? So letting go of whatever's been burdening you, whether this be a relationship on any level of friendship, love, family, career, whatever has been a, a lot of weight on your shoulders is saying, let it go and really focus on happiness and joy in your life right now. And you can, by doing that, that's saying, let go, let it go. The stress, because you are, you, you're literally, because this is in reverse. Normally, I don't read these <clears throat> detail cards in reverse, but really, that's what's going on. You're going to let it go, and you're going to create this beautiful relationship, business relationship, love relationship, family dynamic. Some of you, this is a person that uh, you do love them dearly, whether you're together or not. I feel that there's a sense of pulling apart. One of you was blocked in definitely in participating in the relationship. You may be separated, like I said, be at a, di a distance. Um, yeah, this person was holding back. You've got the four pentacles twice. So they weren't open, it could be you. But I feel really it was them. And I think they're traveling to come and see you in the month of October. Some of you definitely in the month of October, you've got tens on the board, a couple of tens on the board. So you're getting ready to make some changes in your life. Tens roll over. You got the 10 of wands and the 10 of cups. So they're getting ready to roll over into the ace. So that's the ace of wands, that's the ace of cups. This person is flying in. They're flying in, I mean, fast, okay? They could be flying on a plane, but they're coming in really quick because they wanna put things back into balance. I think they were very focused and driven in a materialistic, possibly even egotistical, bordering narcissistic way. Very self-absorbed individual that wasn't work, wanting to work on a relationship at all. They were work driven. If you didn't fall in that work category, they didn't have time for you. That was heavy. <laughs> well, they are gonna contact you. Okay, eight of one. So you've been waiting for this communication. It is gonna come through. And I think this time around, 
they're really going to open up and they're really going to tell you uh, everything. I think they're, they're they, yeah, yeah, right there. They're going to want to uh, get you a sense of freedom, them a sense of freedom. And it's not, I don't mean release like, yay, we're free. We can go date anybody we want. Allowing you to be who you are in your own self and them who they are. You don't want to fix them. They don't want to fix you. You both have this sense of freedom when you're together. I feel like this really grounded energy when you're together where you feel free. You feel adventurous. You feel like you can take the world on the two of you together. It's a beautiful union. Whatever they did, they are going to tell you the truth about it. They may have been uh, engaged in a work situation that really restricted them. They didn't have the freedom to meet you. But that freedom is now there, right? And they're coming forward to tell you this. So you may have been waiting a very long time. Grief. Grief. Now, they could have been going through their own life transformations, allowing you to grieve to go through yours. What I'm seeing is that's what was done. You both were healing, feeling your own feelings, kind of getting your own identities back. Own identities back. You know, one or both of you may have had a family. I feel both of you had a family and a career. So very obsessed with your careers and you were very driven, but you did not have time for each other. So what I see in the month of October is this is going to turn around most definitely. Now for another group of you, you are feeling good. You've been doing a lot of work on you. You've got your finances in order. You're getting ready to travel. I see you are going on a trip and this trip is um it feels like you're creating uh going from one location to another to another it feels like three to four months you might even be you you look like you're going to be gone over the holidays i feel this is going to be a surprise to your partner a surprise to your partner where they're going to get like some kind of uh, i feel it's very romantic whatever's going to happen the way it's communicated to the partner. This is you to your partner, your partner to you. This is going to be a lovely trip, and I think it's been a very long time in the making where they've been planning this for a super, super long time. Yeah, doubt. <clears throat> They're saying doubt. I realize the need to know. I, I realize the need to know all the answers. Doubt. I release, not realize. I was like, that does not make sense, right? <laughs> it's late. <laughs> I release the need to know. So do not doubt this beautiful travel situation that's coming for you because it really is going to come for some of you and you may already suspect it. You found something, a receipt. You found something that you may have been questioning. You might have even been questioning your partner, like, are they cheating? And they're actually planning this for you. It's going to, they're holding back as a surprise. So that, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Maybe you uh, have, if it's the, if you are the cross watcher, you could be a Libra and this is your birthday. A Libra, maybe a Scorpio, right? Yeah, so this is actually really, really beautiful. You guys have a lot of love between the two of you and the world card. So this is travel. Some of you are getting ready to meet somebody brand new in your life. And this brand new person is starting a brand new chapter in your life. So it's literally letting go of everything that threw you out of balance where you didn't feel grounded in your own personal love life. And I see they're coming in and it's going to be in a, a really beautiful, brand new beginning for you. It truly, truly is where you just let go and you go, okay, God, help me make my love life to suit me. And they are going to help you. The angels are going to come down. They're all going to help you. So this is absolutely lovely energy for you guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a romance angel card for you. And if you are new, I welcome you to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And if you click the bell, 
that will notify you when I make a post. And if you do subscribe, I truly appreciate it because that's what keeps this up and going. And for some of you, if you are interested, I do have classes in October. I have uh, the Soul Connection class. Are you in a toxic relationship or is it a karmic relationship, a soulmate, twin flame, um, relationship boundaries and psychic development workshop? For readings, etc. classes, you can go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. The card that came out for you is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because some of you, this is a very exciting opportunity coming in for you when we're talking about moving forward in what you're truly passionate about. This travel that I see for this group of you You've been waiting a really long time and it's going to be a surprise. So let go, let God and really, really enjoy the beginning of a new chapter that's going to be filled with passion, excitement, spontaneity and romance. So you guys have an amazing month. Thank you for watching and much love.